Howdy and what's good y'all, this is White Tiger coming at ya, and uh, this is what's been going on, this is basically a video explaining what I've been away, what I've been up to and everything. Really it's a start of the tour of my base and basically where to go from there. I just have a jukebox over here, a uh, portal to the mining world, a uh, bunch of different ingots and stuff here machine box and miscellaneous box of various things and whatever I've gotten to and this is uh, my pride and joy right here it's vibrator vibrant capacitor bank holds uh, 25 million RF and the reason being is because all this I'll, like see all this I've made by hand like starting out like with nothing at all and just uh, being able to move over here I'll get to that in a minute but uh, of course I start out with a sterling generator and craft a basic capacitor uh, the slice and splice and the soul binder uh, of course you can easily uh, check that out with the recipes I'm, uh, I'm just getting a little nervous here y'all uh, I have a lot to say and just a little time to do and the fat disappeared what in the world hang on a second <laughs> There it goes, okay. So, uh, what frames per second? Uh, I'm trying to get uh, 60 frames per second, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get that high. I'm supposedly recording in that right now, so maybe y'all know the difference. But, anyways, uh, these are just basic machines and uh, caches and whatnot. But, the reason being, I'm making this video is I'm uh, letting y'all know what, what's been going on. Uh, this is, whoops, a little bit of lag there. Uh, EE3 uh, transmutation tablet uh, thingy my bob or whatever it's called but other than that it's just a plain old square base it's made of this red rock brick that I've been able to EMC up and whatnot. but I don't know I just want some comments from everybody else because apparently I've been getting new subscribers even though I've been not been making videos so for everybody that just uh, subscribes to me, thank you so much. But uh, anyways, this is actually on Trionis's, uh server. That's his base right there, the house. Uh, always makes really awesome looking houses, and also kind of matches the texture of the landscape. Or whatever. He invited me over to that little place over there, and it's like, yeah, sure. So. He also made the spawner here, and, and recently I decided I wanted to try to help out, and uh, it kind of overgrew into a big, huge project, and uh, I really didn't mean for all this to happen, but uh, originally it was just a vanilla uh, blaze spawner, uh, where you can just stand there and just hack and slash and get everything, but now I try to make it an auto-magic, self-sustaining blaze farm, solar-powered, which it's not just a blaze farm anymore, I've actually put an ender, enderman-powered uh, spawner up there as well. Oh yeah, I got a jetpack now, I'm not used to flying on this uh, mod pack yet, but this is FTB Inventions, so I'll have all that in the uh, description below, of course, but uh, life just kind of gets in your way a lot of times at least uh, not in your way but I mean like for good reasons but I just haven't been able to play Minecraft a lot lately so every time I do then something happens and all the worlds get messed up or I lose progress or something happens to the world so I just haven't been able to do anything except for on trying to server so that's the reason why we've been I've been playing on this a lot trying to get things accomplished but yeah, the reason I've been away f for a while is, uh, you know, like I said, real life just kind of happens and I just haven't been able to make really any videos here at all lately. Uh, and things have been happening in my life. I just, it's too much to talk about and too much to get into right now. But uh, suffice it to say, I'm just wanting to not really start all the way over from the beginning, but want to try to go somewhere at least on this mod pack but the door will work the only reason I don't have any windows is because let me show you the reason why uh, do 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 this and 
grind it down to sand, and it'll automatically smelt into glass right quick. And then pops out, boom. Okay, so watch this. Two pieces. Okay, dark, clear glass, whatever, but. Here, two pieces. Oh no, it works! This. Well, this just made me out to be a liar. God. Regular glass, it has a messed up texture with this texture pack that I was able to find. Uh, of course, it's the same texture pack that Trias has used in his video, which is pretty cool, but I don't have any glass in there. I doubt I have any glass anywhere else. The fused quartz works, but there's regular glass. Okay, watch this, watch this. So, this is the reason why I don't have windows. Okay, see, so instead of coming out clear like this, it comes out like this. But now that I know this trick to have dark glass, instead of regular glass, I might have to put some quite clear glass. I doubt that'll work. Block slight. Okay. Let's see, quite clear. Okay, well, quite clear works too. Perfect. I can have windows now. Sweet. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I just want some comments below. Of where do you think I should go from here? Uh, I have a jetpack and everything. I have access to the mining world, and I have a whole bunch of different mods in this mod pack. Whoops, mod pack. So just look over the list of uh, mod packs. I mean mods in the mod pack. It's called uh, FTB inventions it's found on the FTB launcher and just check out all the different ones they have oh they got big reactors okay so I will be able to just uh, try us went with advanced generators and made himself the gas generator where he's pumping out oil from the land around us and being able to do that so that's pretty cool but uh, compact solar arrays well, that's for like IC2 yeah they got IC2 in this one uh, and then also there's this other mod that's mods IC2 itself to well it's nuclear control too but there's other ones as well um, I don't know what it's called but I'm gonna look into that and I'm gonna get into trying to get some IC2 going on advanced generators, solar panels but anyways I can't remember what it is but <clears throat> I want to get into IC2 and just be able to build stuff and get somewhere instead of having to get, but just so far and then, oops, something happens and <laughs> messes up because I've gone through like three different mod packs. Like I created my own again uh, out of uh, Resident Rise 3 and that didn't work because my computer, what I call the server, just decided to take a kaput on me. I couldn't go from there. And that sucks, so I just had to rely on another kindness of strangers, basically, and uh, go on to other people's servers. Like, Trionis has let me on his server. Mountain Dew Mania, God bless her soul, is uh, letting me get on to uh, her server. It's got the FTB Infinity 1 uh, mod pack on it. And uh, I'm going to start on it soon enough. Uh, but the EE3 or... Project E, which she put Project E in the uh, Try Too Hard mod pack that she's designing, which thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Mountain Dew Mania. You're the best. Just because I can use that one, I was able to kind of get far into your mod pack before. I crashed your server, and oh my gosh, I have to tell y'all about how I crashed the server. Alright, so, well, this one, this mod pack doesn't have extra utilities in it, I don't think. But it had to do with extra utilities, uh, extra biomes, extra cells. Yeah, I don't think it has, you know, it don't have extra utilities. But anyways, there's a transfer node, uh, like the ones for Ender IO or whatever, but it's from extra utilities instead. And now I had that hooked up to, I can't remember, uh, it was a packager. But it, first of all, it was the Ender IO auto crafter, uh, some kind of crafter that... Ender IO has. Yeah, this sucker right here. This crafter thing here. So, I made this thing. I had like two or three of these suckers hooked up in a row with uh, transfer utilities pipes. And then a transfer utility thing doing cobblestone. So, where I can make octavo cobblestone and have a whole bunch of EMC or whatever. 
and then I, there was an auto packager. I don't think we have it in this one, but there was a separate mod that had a thing called the auto packager. Oh, it's in here too. Look at that. This sucker here. Ooh. Okay, so it was this sucker, and then the auto, uh, the crafter from Ender IO. I had like two or three of these things, and then two or three of the crafters from Ender IO. And uh, I had them all in a sequential line, and I was just pumping massive amounts of cobblestone because I had uh, all the speed upgrades and all the world interaction upgrades for the transfer item node. And after that, the grind, the, the whole server just grinded to a halt. I mean, I just, I've, <laughs> like, Pale Rider, I'm so sorry, dude. I did not mean to break the server like that. I was just trying to get EMC for Project E, and I got a little greedy, I guess. I don't know. I was just trying to see how fast it would go, and I didn't think it would be that bad, because, like, it got to the point where the server itself would, I would log off of it, and I would, uh, you know, try to ping it before I would actually join the server, and say it was a still logged in. I was like, no, that's not right. I'm not logged in, obviously, but I actually took a picture of it. I think I'll have a, uh, still the screenshot of it where I actually logged in and saw a picture of myself. I thought that was kind of weird, so uh, I'll probably try to post that in the descriptions below and whatever, or link to it or something, but I just thought that was funny, and that was the last remnants of that world in that mod pack so far, but uh, the tryhards are doing a great job of trying to fix everything and sort all the mods out and everything else after I completely devastate the server, so i pale router again, sorry about that, but anyway, so that's where I've been, that's what's been going on, that's what's up, sorry for the short long video or whatever, but I just wanted to let y'all know what I've been up to and everything. Uh, but in the meantime, I just want to say, if y'all would, just post in the comments below what I might be able to do, or just want to say hello, just say hello. So anyways, remember not to like me, or anything else like that, because that's bad, don't like me. Alright, whatever you do, just comment if you want to, but don't like me. I'm watching you. Alright y'all, take care. Have a good one now. Peace. Later. Oh yeah, one other thing. I completely forgot after I said peace and later and everything else. I forgot to tell you about all the other machines that I have running over here. I just like went right past them. Sorry. So let me just at least say that. Say what they are. The zombie generators. I'm not sure if I said that. But uh, it's getting all the nutrients and everything from this chest right here and this vat that keeps disappearing on me F3A this thing right here uh, uses sugar and rotten flesh and generates nutrient distillation which somehow can be if I'm not mistaken turned into XP like XP juice or something like that but anyway so and it disappeared again so you can use this to stuff into zombie generators and I uh, have a tank up here uh, trying to act as a buffer or whatever and I have an infinite water source which I have a let me show y'all right quick oh no it's night uh, I'm gonna go to sleep usually I'm actually pretty brave when it comes to monsters and fighting I just run out there and just try to kill and best of my ability and wind up dying of course but you know me better than that I just tend to die a lot anyways. Uh, Trinus was gracious enough to ooh, Enderman, show me how to uh, chunk load the area so I don't even have to build a chunk loader or nothing. No, it's great. Oh, ow. That was real stupid. I forgot I have a jetpack again. Uh, it's been so long like I actually play this mod pack for a couple weeks now, a month or so, and it's just been so long and I hadn't used any type of flight. And then I saw Tronus' last video, which was his episode 10, I believe, uh, uh, Jetpacks and Soul Shard beginnings, or whatever. This is the pump that just infinitely generates water for, for us into this 
especially color code tank, and it just works off the advanced photo of AXL, which I crafted all by myself. I feel so happy because everybody's just like, "Er, I can craft that too." Er, I mean, like, I just feel good about being able to do it myself. So yeah, I'm just proud, whatever. But. Uh, I know. Uh, I gotta finish this up. I'm gonna put all this just going down the mountain where it just kind of stays on top of the mountain where it just looks like it's. Oh, I forgot to finish that part right there on the side. I don't know why I'm talking. I don't know why I'm trying to say, but where it, like where the mountain meets together, I put the bricks all the way down to where the mountain meets. I think this is a really cool looking place. A little base area, whatever. The Lair of the White Tiger. That's Mr. Tigger to you. <laughs> of course, uh, kudos to Mountain Dew for m Mr. Tigger and uh, Trinus. I always used to call me Tigger. And, uh, I think it's, it's so awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. Like I said, just comment below. Tell me what any ideas or suggestions where I should go from here. Besides just going to the Ender Dragon, the end, and going to the Ender Dragon, killing it, and going to Draconic Evolution. I know that's my next step, but I gotta do some other stuff first. So just uh, give me any ideas and suggestions, and I'll try to give you shouts out for next time. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much for watching. Y'all take it easy now. Peace. Howdy y'all, it's me again, of course. What would you expect? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one that came along for the ride, so... Yes, there's a little bit more to this video than I thought, but... I just got finished replacing <laughs> glass everywhere on uh, my base, and it looks pretty freaking sweet now, at least. So, anyways, uh, decorations are always welcome, but yeah. Try on us, uh, if you're watching this, buddy. Uh, uh, used uh, the quite clear glass from Ender IO, and uh, you'll be able to use it. You'll be able to see this instead of the ugly texture that I um, saw earlier. But, anyways, one other thing. This is actually more for a PPS for Trionis himself. Uh, hopefully, he'll be able to watch this before he makes his next video. And uh, thanks to his video, I was able to make an energetic jetpack because I just followed his uh, steps on, his, on the soul shards and jetpacks video, and uh, was able to catch up with him at least on that. So that's pretty cool, I think. But anyways, the point is, uh, Trionis, I know you meant to uh, really kind of spruce this up, this uh, spawn house here, and tear down everything, redo everything, whatever, and you're welcome to, of course, because it's, of course, your server and your mod pack and everything else, but I'm just kind of a little proud of this, because I was able to make everything where it turns on the fans as well, when it turns on the spawners and everything, and I mean, it's up to you, but you're such a nice guy, you actually replaced this, because it used to be just cobblestone, and this is all glass now, so, oh, you already figured that out, duh, okay, so, ow, uh, so he already knew about the glass trick, derp, 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 okay, so, I didn't need to tell him all that, so, herp a derp, just goes to show you how much of a derp I am, but anyways, uh, if you would, I know you're trying to do something with the soul shards, uh, try on us, uh, but, uh, please uh, find in your heart to spare this little building here. Uh, uh, just uh, find maybe another place to build the spawn area for your soul shards. I'll help, help you build it, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I know you're a good dude. And, uh, usually if uh, somebody asks you, you'll be like, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, but I just, I, I appreciate it because I just... I'm really proud of this because I was I was finally able to make some sort of working machine and it also generates EMC so it's useful for the both of us so if we can just leave this up and running a lot of times I, mean, I gotta figure out something to do to get more power on this thing here but anyways uh, I gotta go I'll talk to y'all another time bye